everybody. So the other day I was just casually, as you do, thinking if I were the ruler of books, what kind of rules would I create? And poof, a book tag was created. The premise is you're creating a world of books. What things are you gonna implement? So welcome to the ruler of books tag. Question number one is what book would you make everyone read? For this, I've chosen Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. I think this is the kind of question that from month to month, I might give you a different answer, but currently I'm really into magical realism and I think that it's not something everybody has experienced. And I think it's something that a lot of people would like if they gave it a shot. And of all the books I've read that happen with magical realism, this is the one that I think is the easiest to read and is kind of, for me, it's like my favorite. It's just so interesting. So right now, it's this one. Question number two is what would you abolish in book construction? There are a lot of things that can get on my nerves about books. I just don't understand why publishers do certain things. But the one thing I really don't get, I just don't get it, I just don't understand, is this phenomena. It is when a cover doesn't reach the edge of the book. Why? In goodness' sakes, would you not make the cover go all the way to the end? Why does the cover not go the whole way? I just, there's no reason for this madness. And if I was in charge, this would never happen again. Question number three is what author would you commission to write you any book? And right now, that's Rainbow Rowell. I really want another Rainbow Rowell contemporary read and I want it now. And so if I was in charge, I'd pay her big bucks to write me one. And then I'd share it with all of you. You see, I'm a fair ruler. Question <laughs> number four is what book would you demote to the library basement to make room for new books? And for me, you all guessed it and you're right, it's Life of Pi by Jan Martel. This is my least favorite book of all time. And the thing is, the thing I hate more <laughs> than me hating this book is when other people love this book and they come to me and they're like, you're so wrong. That book is amazing. That book is brilliant. It drives me crazy. So I'm going to make those people go all the way to the basement to find this book in the library. I think I need to reread it. Guys, I've been having a crisis. Lately, I've been thinking I should reread this book and give it another chance. Maybe I just read it at the wrong time in my life. Maybe everyone's right. Maybe it's brilliant. I need to stop. Question number five is what cover artist would you choose to paint a mural? A beautiful giant piece of art that everyone in your, your kingdom will see. I have chosen the cover artist for Keep the Aspidister Flying, who is Petra Borner, designed by David Pearson. So I'm, I'm guessing that David Pearson put this whole thing together and Petra Borner did this art. I love this art. It's super beautiful in my opinion. I love it. I love how simple it is. I love the muted colors of it. I love it. And I would love to see this on the side of a giant building. I think it would be beautiful. Question number six. What character's face would you put on a coin? And I was thinking about, okay, if it's going on a coin, I want it to be someone inspirational. Someone that all of the people of my world would aspire to be. And I thought of Eleanor from Sense and Sensibility. I love Eleanor Dashwood so much. She is so brave and strong and sensible. I love her. And if, if we could all strive to be like Eleanor, I think the world would be a better place. So Eleanor. And the final question number seven is who would you award the Ruler of Books Top Pick 2016 award to? So this is a book that you've read this year or recently that you really love and think deserves some sort of award. And I'm gonna give mine to Soppy by Philippa Rice. This is a little graphic novel about a so many things just fell out of it. So many things. It started as a webcomic and it's a little collection of adorable moments between a couple who just moved in together. It's the cutest thing I've ever read. I think everybody should read this because it is so cute. And yeah, I'd give my award to it. Put a little sticker on that. So I tag Amanda Center, a new channel I found that I really recommend. She makes great videos. And Claire Weller, another channel that I think deserves way more subscribers. So definitely check those two ladies out. Um, and I also tag Raylene LeMay because Raylene, I love ya. Petfoot and Prong 07. I wanna see ya. I wanna see ya do the tag. And that's the tag. I hope that you liked it. I had a lot of fun making it up and answering my own questions. I hope that this realm that I've created is a world you could see yourself living in. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
I need you to treat me like a glass flower. Water me in vain. Prune me to no avail. Turn me towards the sun uselessly. 